just to be out here and have football starting again? Yeah, it's a different feeling, especially it being my last year and so, stuff. So just, um, I said it's exciting, but, um, and it's different, but I'm just kind of ready to do it. I'm ready to get started. I've been waiting these days so this time. we waiting all summer. So. <laughs> what were some of the big lessons you learned after last season and everything that went so well at the start and obviously what transpired at the end? Um, you have to go every play. You don't, don't take no plays off. Be, don't leave it up for chance, just like with the ball game situations. But you have to be able to have a prepared to win every game just to be able to guarantee yourself into the ball position. So just knowing that um, you can't take no place with granted. You know, every play like it's our last play. David, I seen your name on some of the draft boards early. What kind of what kind of attention have you been getting? How do you not let that go? Um, it's been cool to see. It's just um, it's a it's nice to see that somebody's looking. Somebody, it's, it, is, it is an eye on me. So that's even made me happy to know that uh, it is a possibility. At the same time, you know, you know, he opened it up for this last year and stuff. So it's um, it's been real cool. I'm, I'm not used to it yet, but uh, I'm been humble and stuff. And, just wait to get ready to see where it goes. Do you like your boys for a breakout season? Yes, sir. What is, what is Marcus going through all of that and the draft and, and all of the stuff that he went through taught you? And have you talked to him about the whole scenario and the ride he, that he took with you? It was just, like I said earlier, one of his main things was don't take no place for granted. Marcus had a motor, he was humble. to um, so just go out there and play every play, have fun. Um, he also showed me that him being drafted like that, going that big, that it is a, it is a chance. It don't matter where you at, no matter how small of a school people might say it is. And stuff. If the eyes on you, the eyes on you, and they want you to look and beat you. So it's a big thing. Now that you're entering your senior year, just where do you see this program from the time you step foot on campus to where you see it now? Man, it's a big difference. We, uh, as far as like the fan base support, as far as how we come in and play, how we do different things at the program. It's just so much updated and um, different. So, um, it's, like I said, it's been a big difference. Um, when we first came in, we didn't have a lot of all the stuff we um, have now. And it wasn't red in the same way. It was it was good, but it wasn't up to date like it is now. So, this is a good thing. You as a senior this year, you're going to have to be a leader. It's just like, how does strong or strong define leadership? Coming from, I'm a lot, like I learned from Marcus, lead by example. You, if you want somebody to do what you want them to do or do right, you can't be doing wrong if you want them to do right. So just uh, trying to be the best leader I can be. Uh, as far as if it's off the field, if I can help the guys, help the young guys, even the older guys, if they help me. I have to work with each other and uh, just continue to build as a family. So. Kevin, you guys were picking is that a little more material for you guys? Yeah. I mean, like you said, we're going to let people think what they want to think. You don't know until you play the first day or you play the game. So we're going to continue to come out there every day. We're going to play. We're going to fight hard. And we're going to let you think. And then we're going to let the game be taken up. Thank you. 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 Thank